Hi, my name's Ed. I work for the Patchwork Metro Library, and today we're going to look at how strong is pasta. So before we start seeing how strong our pasta actually is, we have to go over some key terms. The first of that is being a force. So a force is what happens when you push or you pull on something. You enact a force on that object, making it move. And there are many different types of forces. Like our first one, which is the force of gravity. Gravity is what keeps us planted on the Earth. It's what makes objects fall when you drop them. As well as, it's what makes the planets rotate around the sun. The next force, which is really important when building bridges, and what we'll be looking at today, is a compressive force. So if I take our spaghetti, and I push in on it, it starts to bend, because it's not very strong. So, that's a compressive force. When you push in on something, like crushing a box, or pushing a spring to get it. The opposite of that force is a tension force. So if I take our spaghetti and I pull, 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 pull really, really hard, that's a tension force. When you pull opposite of each other, like you're playing tug of war. So this is a cool activity that you can do at home, as long as you have some adult supervision. So here I have some fettuccine pasta. You can also use linguine. And the reason that this is important is it's really thin and skinny on one edge, and then it's thicker on the other. And this is important when we're talking about the forces that are going to go into how many blocks of wood our pasta can hold. So what I made here, using just a piece of cardboard, I went and made four holes in it with some string. And this is what we're going to place our blocks on so that we really can tell what our pasta is doing. So I'm going to string this. I have two stools here. You can do this between two chairs. Just any two flat surfaces that you can move together. We've got our pasta. We have our block holder now. I'm going to take one of these wooden blocks and we're going to place it right on there. And oh! It snapped right away. So, why did our pasta snap? So, we went and we put all the force of the block through the skinny edge of the pasta. So it couldn't hold any of the block's weight. So this time, we're going to go and we're going to arrange it where it's sitting and it has to go through the thicker edge of the pasta and see if that helps us out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tape it in place so that that thick edge is what we're putting all of the weight of the block through. One more piece of tape for some good measure. Alright, so let's put our block on. Alright, and we can see, now that we're going through the thick side of our pasta, that it can hold the weight of the block. And this is because the force has to get transversed through this thick portion instead of our super thin portion. It just makes sense. If you were to go and try to break a thin piece of small branch, you could do it no problem. If you tried to break the entire tree, you might run into some issues. So let's see if our pasta can hold any more blocks when we're using this thicker edge. So we already have one. Let's see if we can get a second. All right. What about a feather? We're still going. It's starting to turn a little bit, so I'm going to... Make sure we're still going through that correct edge that we want. Let's see if we can get a fourth one of these blocks. It's doing pretty good. What about number five? Oh. All right, so we lost it at four after it got some time to sit on it a little bit. So we can see that our pasta is completely broken in half right where we had our cradle holding all the weight. But we got four of these blocks, which is pretty impressive. So throughout the years, many engineers, scientists have done a lot of math to figure out how we can make beams stronger. Because for years, we just used singular beams like our piece of pasta here to make our bridges. So that ran into some problems because the bridges could only be so long then before they started to break in the center because there was too much weight on them. So after a lot of math, we have come up with this. So this is an I-beam, and it's made out of our pasta here. So what happens is, 
we get our material and we go and we make it into the capital letter I. And this helps balance compressive and tension forces throughout the beam to allow it to be stronger and hold more weight over a longer distance. So, I have one of those made right here. So this is where you're going to need your adult's help. Because I went and I hot glued three pieces of our pasta together in the shape of an eye. So, I am so confident in this eye beam. We're ditching the small blocks. And we are moving up to these much larger, much heavier blocks. So we know a single piece of our pasta can hold four of these small blocks, which are half the size of these blocks that I'm going to use now. So how many of the large blocks do you think this can hold? Got your guess? All right. Let me set up our testing station again. I'm going to use a little bit of tape to hold it in place again. All right, let's get started. So we've got our first block. So that would be two of these small blocks. Already we're at half of what a single piece of our pasta could hold. We'll put on a second one. Now we're at the full weight that a single piece of our pasta could hold before. And we're going to go a lot further, I feel. Here's number three. I'm going to use a little bit more tape to hold it in place because it wanted to move. Number three is still going strong. We can see that it, our pasta is starting to bend at the top though. So let's see how many more pieces we can get. So let's go for block number four. So we've got block number four still on there. Our pasta is still holding strong. It's bending a little bit more. Let's see if we can get our fifth block on there. There it is, block number five. We're still doing pretty good, so I think I'm going to need a few more. Let's see if we can get number six on. Number six might be the hard one for us. So there we go, six blocks. This is three times the amount of weight our single piece of pasta held. And there it is. Three times the weight for three times the pasta in our corrected shape so that it can hold even more weight. And there you go. Now we know how strong pasta is. My name's Ed, I'm from the Patchwork Metford Library. If you'd like to learn more about bridge building or other engineering projects that you can do, Please come down and check us out.